Yo, what is happening? My name is Abton. Welcome back to a brand new video. Looks like, ooh, ooh, wait, what? What the? This dude's jumping around. He's excited too. Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. This is episode 12. And today, what we are going to be doing is. Oh, I don't know how to speak Russian. I think that's Russian. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is so mysterious. What the heck? Okay. Um, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be preparing fully for the end times event. This is the final episode that we're going to be doing in October. So we have a bunch of things to do before the end times event. I mean, mainly what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting all of the items you need to get a Rookery Axe in the den. Because if you do that during the Halloween event, you get the end times axe instead of a rookery axe which we need to get because i want to stock up this axe display over here so we can make a bunch of money uh i'm pretty sure each of the axes is gonna cost us around twelve thousand to make so that's about double we're gonna be doubling our money if we do that so yeah that sounds like a really good investment to make so with that said let's get straight into this video because i don't want to waste any time let's get everything we need for end times axes. Alrighty guys, so to start we're going to uh, hop in our truck and we're going to go ahead and run to Wood R Us because this is the first place that we are going to get items from. So over here what you get is the bag of sand over here. This one is one of the most useless items if you're not using it to get the end times or rookery axe. But since we are going to get the end times axe, this is actually a super good buy because we're going to be able to convert it into so much money so yeah let's just go ahead and get I, I'm thinking 10 of these because we're I, I kind of want to get at least 10 ti 10 end times axes so that we can convert all of that into double the amount of money I'm, I'm not even sure how much money that's gonna be but I know that's gonna be a lot of money and we kind of just can't miss out on all of that money especially since we are getting close to Halloween so yeah let's just go ahead and stock up on sandbags Alrighty guys, this is the final bag of sand. That is 15 bags for a grand total of 24,000 that we have just spent. Next stop after I drop these off on my base is fancy furnishings to go grab some light bulbs. Alrighty guys, I have made it over to Fancy Furnishings, but on second thought, it's about to close. I mean, the moon is coming up, which means that it is going to be night and this place is going to close. So instead of going to Fancy Furnishings, we're actually going to go over to Bob's Shack so we can get some t dynamite and some cans of worms. All right, let's just park right up here. I don't know if we can get very far. Just kind of get up there. That That's probably sufficient. All right. All right, now what we're going to do is we're just going to buy two pieces of dynamite and then the rest is just going to be cans of worms. Alrighty guys, this is the 10th can of worms. We need 15 because we need 15 of each special item in order to get 15 end times axes when it is 
the end times event and of course the dynamite is not included in that we just need two i i mean we only really need one but just in case the boulders come back down we're gonna need two because we need it to get through the boulder passage at the taiga biome all right that is 12 we just need three more Alrighty guys, that is 15 cans of worms. Let's see, where is the moon at? Oh, it's going down already, so we might be able to actually get the light bulb. I, I think it might be worth trying to go back to the base and drop off all of these items because obviously Fancy Furnishings is going to be closed for a while. So let's go ahead and drop these off at the base. Alrighty, let's just go ahead and head over to Fancy Furnishings. It's not going to be open for a while, but might as well just be over there for when it opens. Alright, we are at Fancy Furnishings. Let me just place my car right here and open the tailgate. And now we wait. Let's see, how much is the light bulb real quick? Okay, so the light bulb costs 2,600, so that plus the 3,200 of the cans of worms and the 1,600 that the bags of sand cost. Let's see how much that is. Okay, so we're going to be spending 7,400. That's a lot lower than I thought per axe and we're selling them for 25k each so we're gonna more than double our money that we're spending which is insane so that that's a massive profit that we're going to make off of these and of course end times axes are really good and high in high demand because they're the only axe that can cut phantom wood so a lot of people need them and want them so that's why we're gonna get um because people are definitely going to want some which means we're gonna be able to get a lot of money off of it all right looks like the moon is going down which means yep the sun is coming up usually fancy furnishings opens pretty late after the sun comes up but yeah while we're waiting we're just gonna sit on this toilet in this very very dark room Alrighty, looks like Fancy Furnishings has just opened, which means we can get off the toilet and we can go ahead and purchase some light bulbs. The light bulb is definitely by far the most annoying one to get because it is all the way at the back of this massive store. I mean, things could be so much closer to the counter, but no, everything's super spread out in Fancy Furnishings, which is very, very unfortunate, but that's just what we have to deal with. Alrighty guys, that is the 15th light bulb, which means let's go ahead and head back to the base, put all of these in a safe place, and we are ready for the end times event now, which is super awesome. Oh my gosh, there is so much lag over here. Yeah, I need to put shelves in this thing. This thing causes so much lag. I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna just put tiles in here and kind of separate them because they cause so much lag I don't I don't know uh, what I should be doing actually is making a proper storage system which would be a lot better than the temporary solution of just adding shelves in there so we'll see how that ends out but for now let's go ahead and put all of these in a safe place it might be wise to just put them all in a truck so that we are ready to go when it becomes the end times event 
because then that way we can just drive once as soon as it becomes the end times event we can just drive over to the taiga biome and just convert all of this into 15 end times axes which we can then sell in the shop oh it looks like we have someone um i don't know if he this seems like a russian server so oh this person is speaking English, so maybe he might want to uh, buy or something like that. All right, well, I am definitely going to be using my long truck, but if I spawn one of these utility vehicles, I think I might be able to fit all of the materials into this thing because I don't think I'm going to be respawning it. And so that way I can just have this ready to go on Halloween. Oh yes, it looks like he is wanting to buy something. Oh, oh, looks like he is just, uh, he's just knocked something over. Hopefully he doesn't knock anything else over. I'm sure that was just an accident. I'll just let him browse. Oh, oh, looks like this has been knocked over too. Man, I don't, I, I need to do something about my shop being so mess upable. It is, it is a massive problem. But I'll just let him go ahead and browse the shop and see what he wants and then once he decides we can I guess sell him something uh oh I didn't mean to drop kick this thing oops alrighty guys it looks like we have managed to fit everything into one small utility vehicle aka the smallest truck cheapest truck you can get okay he wants to buy three turkeys okay so he wants he wants to buy three of these what did we decide on these like 35k each yeah i'm pretty sure we sold them for like 40k when we sold them to that girl i think it was episode like five i i really can't remember what episode that was but we did sell some turkeys and i remember it being 40 to forty-five thousand dollars. so yeah um i'm just gonna sell these for 40k each so he wants to buy three which is going to be quick maths 12 or i, I guess it would be 120 thousand dollars which is a lot of money for just three turkeys um, and considering how little money he has, I feel a little bit bad taking like over half of the money he has, <laughs> but I guess if that's what he wants to buy, then I'll just go ahead and sell these to him. All right, looks like this is his base, so we're just going to go ahead and put these on his base and then wait for payment. Oh, he sent it. Oh, baby. $120,000 in the bank. Let's go ahead and... Oh, oh my gosh, they're sliding. Okay, let's go ahead and give this guy perms. And now, I guess I'll tell him to reload. Alrighty, that was awesome. Let's go ahead and remove perms before I get my base stolen or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that is super awesome. We have, I'm pretty sure, just made back all of the money we spent on stuff to get end times axes. Let me actually do the calculations. So that was... Okay, so yeah, I've done the calculations. That was 111000 that we spent on items to get end times axes. And yeah, we definitely just made that back by selling large turkeys to this guy. So that's super awesome. Alrighty, guys. That is all the money made back. Oh, 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 I don't want to glitch this thing out. Uh, let's squeeze on by. All right, so we have just made all of our money back. Now what are we going to do? Well, I, I do have some things I need from the fine arts shop, actually. Let's go ahead and check if the fairy is here. And I'm also considering removing perms just while I am gone because I don't want my base to be glitched out. So yeah, it looks like Hoover is not here. We can wait on this very foggy dock right here for him to come, but I I don't know. I'll, I'll just go ahead and do something on my base while I'm waiting instead of doing that because that sounds boring. I'm going to go ahead and restock the shop because we just sold some large turkeys. So that means that these are going to go back on the shelves over here. 
Alrighty, so that is all stocked back up. Um, that we, we don't have another one to fill this space. Man, these large turkeys, I think, have been very, very popular. Same with the apple pies, except not, not quite as much, I don't think. But yeah, um, so far, I don't know if I've really sold, like, any of these. And it's very rare that we sell any of these, too. But I, I, I don't know if that's just because I haven't been bought from a lot. I know that axes tend to go off the shelves pretty fast, but that's because they're axes and everyone needs axes. Alrighty, um, I, I don't think enough time has passed, but let's go ahead and check if Hoover is there. It looks like he is from the peripheral of my view. Yep, I can see that. Alright, let's go ahead and see when he next runs. Probably like four minutes, right? Two minutes. Oh, nice. All right. Let's go ahead and flip around real quick just so that we can drive out really easily. And now we're just going to wait two minutes. Alrighty guys, we have made it to the other side of the ferry trip. Um, anyways, let's go ahead. We're going over to the maze because we need to get some things from the, uh, the fine arts shop. So let's try not to get lost down here. We're just going to the fine arts shop. We're, we're not going to go any other way because I really, really, really don't want to get lost. That would kind of suck. So... I do know the way to the fine arts shop. You just go around here, turn, and then once you get down this corridor, it's just the middle twice. So right here, there's a middle passage. And then over here, there is another middle passage. Yeah, super simple. Um, I would recommend if you play this game a lot that you get that memorized because it has saved me a lot of time. But anyways, let's go ahead and buy this real quick. That is $16,800. This is going to be so freaking expensive. I need a ton of these. I haven't really explained why I need so many of these paintings, but like I did the calculations and to do what I want to do with these, it's going to be multiple millions of dollars to get <laughs> enough paintings, which is insane. Uh, I, I don't know. This is going to be crazy. So yeah, it's definitely a good thing for me to try to make as much money as I can because this is going to quickly, very, very quickly deplete my money supply. Alrighty, I think that is all of the paintings that I'm going to be able to fit in my truck. Let's try to actually turn around and that way we can actually see where we're going because otherwise I won't have the headlights to help me see. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and go this way and make this little turn. Perfect. And just follow this until we have the option to go right. This painting over here is looking like it is going to fall out. So let me just go ahead and fix that real quick. Oh my, it is very glitchy. Hopefully that doesn't keep happening. All right, let's go right here and then right again. And right here is where the entrance is yes we made it out successfully without getting lost this is awesome okay now we gotta see if the fairy is still here i have zero hope that it is because it's probably been more than four minutes yep there goes the fairy that is so sad 
Alrighty, but what that does mean is that I guess I probably have enough time to go ahead and get some more. Believe it or not, I do need more than this. It's going to be a lot of trips trying to get the spookiest painting in the game for a... I, I don't know if it's a very spooky purpose, but it is pretty, a pretty spooky painting. I can't remember, but I do believe it came out on Halloween. And yeah, let's go ahead and grab some more. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so expensive. Yeah, you can see my money is at 2.2. Before I started, I was at 2.4. So that's already pretty much 200,000 down the drain. And it's only going to keep going. All right, we are back at the fine arts shop. Let's just get some more. Also... Uh, those light bulbs are very squished. <laughs> I might actually be able to fit more gloomy paintings if I put them in like this. Alright, you guys, we are down to 2.1 million. Oh, my money is draining so fast. We're gonna be down to 1 million soon. Yep, looks like the ferry is arriving right now, which is perfect timing. Alrighty, let's just go ahead and put my truck on here, and then let's get the rest of the paintings that I wasn't able to fit in the truck over here. Oh my, we were one painting away from going under $2 million. That is just crazy how much these are. These are so expensive. Now we just wait until Hoover departs. Alrighty, we are back. Now we just have to go run these to our base and hope that I don't lose connection with all of these because that would be like, what, 200 to 300,000? Wait, it might even be more like 400,000 to waste, which is crazy. I'm just gonna put them right here. And I didn't tell you guys this, but I'm actually in a big rush because I have to run to school right now. So I need to get all of these out of my truck and get the the rest of them back onto my base before I'm late to class oh my this is oh I don't I don't have a lot of time I, I just gotta get these gloomy paintings they're more so much more important than school though so yeah I'm totally gonna be late ah okay 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 we just have a few left let's just get these in a truck oh I'm, I'm stressing I gotta get to school so so soon I gotta I, I gotta drive to school still. Okay, okay. We got all of these on our truck. We just have to get these to the, our base and then I can go to school. And then I'll be back to record after. But yeah, oh my. Okay, get these on the base. And there we go, there we go. I can leave now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, guys. So it is past the next day. I wasn't able to get home from school and actually play because I ended up getting pounded with homework. So I had to do all of that. So it is a day or two later. And now I've just joined this server and this guy wants to buy, which is pretty awesome. So, um,. Sure thing, dude. This guy just immediately came up to my base and is like, Hey, can I buy the, uh, the cyan pumpkins, boreal pumpkins, whatever you want to call them. We don't really have a price for them. Probably like 25k. That's probably fine. I'm, I'm kind of assuming that this guy is going to be, I don't know, the, the, the next richest person besides me currently has 1000 so i i don't know i just feel like this might be a bit of a poor server oh my gosh what just happened to all of the boards we need to put these back up these 
have completely ruined themselves, which is actually a problem because it is getting really close to the end times event. I think we're a, a few minutes or hours out before it actually starts. So yeah, we, we need to get real prepared. We can't have any of these boards sticking into the walls. We need to have them covering the windows. Oh, he also is thinking about buying a turkey. I'll say 40k, because that's how much we charged the other person. So I guess we will. I, I really need to add prices on these because people keep asking and I keep forgetting. <laughs> okay, um, so he wants to buy a... Oh, oh, he just wants to buy one pumpkin. So who, we'll just grab it from this top shelf and that will be that. Okay, so let's go ahead and, oh, okay, well, that was unexpected. I just, uh, I guess I'm blacklisted. All right, so um, I'll just press save items to base. Okay, he just sent it. All right, um, let's see. Save items to base and okay. Well, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and unwhitelist him real quick and that was a successful 25k in the bank that is awesome all right so now i gotta figure out what to do um i'm going to get all of these paintings out of this truck because i don't really need these for now and there's also i, I, I want to have it clear for the end times event all right so what are, we are going to be doing for this end times event is First of all, we need to get all of our end times axes and then I kind of want to go spook hunting because there's going to be spook in every single server during the end times event, which is going to be insane, which means I should probably totally stock up on it. That seems like a great idea. So I'm actually going to get the system prepared for that. I don't want my sawmill set, up, set to that if i'm gonna have a bunch of spook wood i don't want a bunch of long planks let's just make these like that what what are, what is it usually set to like two by two i think i'll just do 2.2 by 2.2 and i'm actually gonna go ahead and grab myself a utility vehicle xl just because it's a lot faster than the regular utility vehicle and even faster than this long truck that i'm driving right now so i think it will be beneficial to have one just for spook hunting and stuff like that all right there we go let's just get this back to our base all righty so um we got a random bacon hair I don't know if he wants to buy or something we'll just let him browse don't you dare glitch out all of that please is he just no 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 okay I'm going to have to what is happening why is he why is he not getting hurt no stop it I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off visits from anyone stop it Sorry, but you're you're kind of concerning me. Alrighty guys, um, I'm gonna be honest, I just realized something. We are literally like a minute or two away from the end times event, and I didn't even realize. So, um it is it is really close to the end times event. So, um what we are going to be doing is of course getting all the stuff for the end times uh, axes, and then we're gonna have to wait a few hours before hunting for spookwood because spookwood actually takes a while to grow and so we're gonna have to you know deal with that oh it looks like there is a board right here let's get that quickly up before the end times event starts alrighty that is perfect we've got one minute before it starts uh, I, I need to actually announce this in my discord server once it does start so um here we go, just one more minute and it is going to switch. I Oh, this is so cool. Uh, I love being in game for events. I'm waiting for it to switch. Oh baby, it has switched. Get ourselves a screenshot real quick of that. 
Alrighty guys, so what that means is that yeah, the base is looking awesome in the end times event You can see how cool the boarded up windows looks uh, ex Of course except for that one for whatever reason. It's just kind of out of place, which is very silly All right, so the Sun is actually going down so we gotta go real quick and get all of this stuff to the taiga biome um, and we need to convert all of these to end times axes. So let's go over and do that real quick So yeah, you can see the fog is insane during the end times event. It is crazy I'm actually gonna I don't think I have audio on I don't know if you can hear what's happening, but there should be wind sound effects Okay, yeah, I don't hear I don't hear the wind sound effects. Maybe it's broken or something but yeah anyways we're just going over to the red eagle this is where we entered and now we need to go over to the red eagle over here so that we can convert all of this into end times axes this is gonna be insane all right so right here uh there should be a red eagle right here yes it is pretty hard to see and we basically just gotta get all of this into the hatch and guys i just realized we didn't even have to use a piece of dynamite because it was already down all of the boulders were already exploded hopefully there's actually not someone down here I wouldn't want to interrupt let's go ahead and make sure yeah okay there's no one down here so that's awesome um, so yeah so basically we just need to get all of these down that's gonna take a while oh man okay this is so awesome <laughs> So yeah, we did the calculations, and this should give us, like, what, uh, 18,000 profit per axe? That's gonna be insane. Ooh, there is a tremendous lag spike happening. I don't know what's up, up with that. Oh, it looks like people are like, bro, what's happening? There's an update? No way <laughs> in the chat. That's so cool. Okay, so, um, it's always cool to see people that don't really know what the end times event is, because, yeah, it, it is really cool to see it switch, especially if, if you didn't know that it was coming, that's so cool. Alright guys, we're just putting all of these items down in the hatch, it takes a while because you kind of have to open the hatch and it's only open for a little bit of time, so you gotta get as much in there as possible while it's open. It's a bit tricky. That should be good. Oh my gosh, there is so many. Alrighty, so let's get all of these. We need to have these. We need to put them in the right order. I, I'm, I'm, this is a bit embarrassing. I kind of forgot the order. Okay, I, I can probably work it out. I'm pretty sure that this is either this guy or this guy. It, it's one of the Dominuses, and then Bag of Sand is for this guy. And then light bulb for this guy, right? That's true. Yes, yes, yes. That was that was correct. Okay, so we're getting one end times axe. That is awesome. It comes down so slowly. Okay, let's just put that over there, I guess. And let's get the next one. I don't know. Are these going to disappear? I guess they take a while to disappear. I guess we can just put a few others on while we're waiting. I'm kind of confused. Do these ever despawn or... Oh, maybe I have to pick up the axe. Okay, yeah, they have despawned. Okay, awesome. Oh, we're getting a new one. Okay, cool. Let's just go ahead and pick up this axe. Jeez, the lag is insane in this server. I don't know what's going on. Just gotta do this over and over until we have all 15 end times axes. This is taking a while. This is a very time consuming process. I mean, it's really cool to see the axe slowly floating down, but man, does it take a while for it to do that. Okay, how long is this axe gonna be up there? That's It's been like, what, 30 seconds? Come on. Is it just gonna be stuck up there? What, what what do we do about that? Do I have to like make a ladder up there or something or is it just extreme lag? I don't really know. I mean, I'm able to drag items So I don't know what what this axes deal is But I guess I'll just put new items on the plates and just hope that Something happens. I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 I can I can interact with it now. Oh, 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 come on 
Oh, it's falling now. <laughs> In very, very slow and laggy motion, look at that. Okay, I think I might have picked a bad server or something because... Yeah, that axe is doing the exact same thing. Man, if I could switch servers right now, I totally would, but I kind of can't, so I'm just stuck here waiting for these end times axes to fall at like, what, one? This is one stun an hour. Jeez, just got it. Just come. Come down here, please. Is there two up there? There's totally two up there. Oh my gosh. That's how long this is taking. There's two stuck up there. This one is finally coming down, but jeez, the lag is insane. I've just been getting all of these items in place so that we can replace each one that gets taken because this is going to take a while. Oh, right, my, my backpack is full. Let's just put that over here and next. It's still taking forever, <laughs> jeez. Okay, guys, I'm going to spare you guys the uh, the misery of just waiting for this, and I will cut to when this is all done, because this is taking literal hours. Okay, update. It is. Uh, it appears to be working fine now. I think it was just someone's base or something, because now there's not as much lag, um, so I don't know what was happening, but yeah. Okay, so I've run into a bit of a peculiar issue. I don't have enough items. I don't know what's happening, but I don't have all of the items necessary to complete the quest. I have one extra. I just need one bag of sand, and I, I guess I need an extra light bulb and an extra bag of sand if I want to complete it with all of these cans of worms. Let me check quickly, make sure that the, there's no items over here. I could have sworn that I got 15 of each, but I guess not. If they're not all here, maybe I just didn't get all of them in? I don't know. So let's get these back to our base. I don't want these to, you know, not save on my base. So we need to get these on my base ASAP. Alrighty guys, I have made it back to the base. So let's get all of these onto the base real quick and then... I guess we need a light bulb. It looks like the moon is going down, so we are actually going to be able to go grab a light bulb. Alright, the base looks so cool during the end times event. Look at that. Okay, so we got our bags of sand. Now we just need to get some light bulbs, and we will be set. Alrighty, guys, let's just go ahead and buy this and head back to the den. Alrighty guys, we are back here. Looks like I left my TNT, but it's not that big of a concern because they're... For some reason, the builders are glitched in this server, which is kind of nice. I don't have to use dynamite. Alright, um, so let's go ahead and grab these, put these over here. So, okay, yeah, so it was two bags of sand, which is awesome. So yeah, okay, look at that, look at how fast it should be moving, and yeah, it definitely was not doing that earlier, but yeah, so we got this one, let's just pick that up real quick, and come down faster, you're taking forever, ah, just the impatience, just pick that up, and wait for these to despawn, and yeah, that is all of the items, for whatever reason, we were missing a few, I don't know if I just counted wrong, or if I lost some of them in the process of doing something, I don't know, I don't know what happened to them, so yeah, guys, I'm just gonna get off for a bit, and wait for the spook trees that have just spawned for the end times event, just wait for them to fully grow, so that we can find them easier, and so that there will be more wood to them, so we can what 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 is happening over there i can't tell is that an exploiter or is that just a glitch i i really can't tell um that really looks like an exploiter to be honest what is this guy doing what the heck Alrighty guys, it has been five hours and finally I've looked in some discords and it looks like the trees are starting to look really big and beefy so that means that we are ready to start hunting for spook wood so we can stock up on spook wood because that would be awesome. So during the end times event it seems like the best way to look for trees is just to actually drive around the map. 
because it's too foggy to like look out on a lookout so this is what I'm going to do I'm just gonna look around with my truck it might be better to go grab the utility vehicle XL because I was talking about earlier how it is a lot faster but for now I'm just gonna use my long truck because I mean if we do find one it would probably be better to have the extra space all right, let's go ahead and check the Taiga Peak up here, and then we can go down and maybe check the safari or the mountainside, whatever. I'm going to look for silhouettes of trees around. I don't see much. It's kind of hard to see silhouettes with this lighting and, you know, this time of day. It's a little bit hard. Oh, 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 oh. Is that one that I see up there? Oh, baby. I think I see a spook tree. Let's go ahead and I'm, I'm not going to try to drive up this thing. I always fall. I'm, I'm not good at this. Okay, so I'm just going to go all the way up to the Taiga Peak. And I guess I'm going to drop down onto that rock. Alrighty, guys. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get down there. I'm thinking I might have to pile up some trees over here so I can get up onto this big rock right here. So let's put this right there. Let's get up on top of that. And yep, there we go. Now we just have to walk down. I think it's right there. Yep, right there. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Let's go ahead and put this in our truck and continue searching this server because as I said, there can be three trees per server. Alrighty guys, let's get this thing in our sawmill real quick. Perfect. Awesome, there is our first pieces of spook wood. That is awesome. And now let's continue searching the server. I'm gonna go ahead and search the uh, the safari because it's just right here, so might as well. I haven't fully searched the mainland, but whatever. Alrighty guys, I don't see anything in this area over here. Let's just I did find a sinister Well, I didn't find it, but a friend found a sinister right over here at some point a Few years ago, which was kind of crazy sinisters are so rare They're a hundred times rarer than spook and spook is pretty rare except for this day today is the day that you spook hunt oh 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 what did i tell you they are freaking common jeez oh dang that thing's massive look at that oh we're gonna get so much wood out of that okay so what we need to do to get up there is probably cut down a tree and then i guess we can use that to climb up okay we are up on this level oh there we go we did it okay um then we just gotta figure out how to get up there. I think I'm gonna need to grab a piece of wood, probably like this one. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a piece of wood. Now we just have to use it as kind of like a long plank. There we go, we did it. That was super easy. So over here, what the heck? This is, that looks obstructed. Oh man, it is. This is not a good location if I want to save this spook tree. Oh, man. Look at that thing. That thing's obstructed. That thing has a piece of the cliff inside of it, which is crazy. Um, I'm a bit worried about this. This thing is going to totally fall into the ocean if I'm not careful, which I don't want to happen. So it looks like it might be getting close. Yeah, it's getting close. So now what I'm going to do is make sure that every chop I grab it. Oh my gosh, we saved it. Oh my gosh, that was so stressful. I, uh, I was not expecting it to, to give out right then. Oh, we saved it. Oh man. Okay, this thing is massive. This thing's going to give us so much spook wood. That is awesome. Alrighty guys, we have got this thing back to our base. Let's just process this thing. Um, we need to chop it up, definitely. It is huge, so we're gonna have to chop up all of its branches real quick. Alrighty, there we go. Let's get these all into our sawmill. That is a massive chunk. I don't know if that's gonna fit. Oh, it did, awesome. So that's going to be a massive piece of spook wood. Yeah, look at it. Oh, dang. Look at how big that thing is. And then this one. Oh, man. That one is going to struggle to fit. We're going to have to cut it. 
Okay, yeah, that thing... That thing is too big to fit into the sawmill. Oh, this one is too. Um, but it's just small enough that I think it will... Yeah, it'll still work to do the sawmill glitch. This one, I'm not so sure. It looks a little bit too big to be able to do the sawmill glitch with that. We'll try it. Just bring this over here. See if it works. Nope. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's working. Okay, well, in this situation, we're gonna have to cut this into slices. Alrighty, there we go. So we got a slice. Let's see. Yeah, now it is fitting in the sawmill. And hopefully that one will fit too. There we go. We did it. You just have to put it at a different angle and then it'll work. This is gonna be super, super nice for building. Alright, so um, I'm kind of thinking that I am going to switch servers now because I've already taken two spook trees, which means that there is probably going to be only one more in this server, uh, at least one more that is a decent size. Alrighty guys, we are in a new server and I've just been looking around and... I see what I think might be another tree in around about the same spot that we saw the other tree. I can't, it's not entirely like clear if that is just a branch sticking out, but I mean look at that thing. That looks exactly like a spook tree, so I'm gonna say that it's probably a spook tree up there. So let, we're gonna go over to it and see if we can go retrieve it. Oh baby, yep, that's definitely another spook tree. That is number three for this episode. That is insane. We are finding so many spook trees. This guy's just getting stuff, and I don't think he realizes that there is literally a spook tree right above his head. What the heck? Alrighty, guys, after finagling with trees for like 20 minutes and somehow getting one of the trees on top of this cliff i have finally managed to get onto one of the cliffs and hopefully this piece of wood is going to help me get onto the other one if i can get it positioned correctly there we go and just there we go we made it up to the spook tree that was a tremendous amount of work Whew, okay, but we did it, and we found ourselves another spook tree. This one isn't quite as mature as the other one we found around here, but it is still fairly big, which means that we are going to be able to convert it into quite a bit of spook wood. Alrighty, guys, that is the last piece. It's not quite fitting in, though. Gotta rotate it, and there we go. That is the other piece. Man, that's a pretty big piece. Dang. Alrighty guys, the spook pile is looking awesome now. It is very big. Alrighty guys, um, so I've just had a look at the timestamp. I've just finished editing and I've realized that we are way past time on this video. This is the longest Let's Play video that I have ever done. So guys, please let me know in the comments if you prefer that I make longer Let's Play videos or if you would prefer if I keep them shorter, like the first few episodes around 20 minutes. I mean, this one is around 50 minutes which is crazy. It doesn't feel like that much time has passed, but yeah, that that is how much time has passed. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're watching this video right as it comes out, then there's a chance that the Gloomy Pumpkin merch is still on sale, so make sure you pick that up right before the 1st of November. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video once it's out. See ya!